Hello my suckies, it's JuzzyQ7 here with another video. Um, so I was on my way back from work today and I was busy thinking while I was driving. Yo, I don't like war. Like, war is awful. I mean, you get like cool advancements from war, technology, and it does prevent massive political restructure, like restructuring if uh, one side prevails over another side and just obliterates the other party by the way just a quick apology I'm pretty tired uh, it's currently 2 a.m. in the morning I I've meant to record this hours ago but like I couldn't I was uh, I was busy with other work and other uh, commitments and I slept in really late so I'm releasing this video a little bit later than usual but overall I'd rather not be in them like conflict can shatter people when I say shatter I mean like people can just break down mentally you know they can lose arms and legs and not to mention it can really affect people's families and stuff on an emotional level like for the people who who go out in war and like fight other people you, you're fighting other people you kill a person it's it's a whole entire life, it's a whole entire family that uh, grew them from like kids, you know, running around, playing around, having fun, and you just shot them. You just ended their life. That's a whole entire, you know, person. It's a massive story that you've just ended in one shot. I mean, reflecting on this kind of stuff afterwards, it would be awful. It would just, it would make you feel like absolute horribleness and that's just what conflict in war does it it makes you feel horribleness it it really does do we really want to fight people do we really want to hurt them and cause them to like suffer honestly though if you do want to do that go vent it elsewhere or something don't make people suffer if you don't want to suffer don't make other people suffer. I mean, if you do want to suffer, then, uh, you know, I'm not stopping you. That's that's your kink, you know? No kink shaming. <laughs> and there are so many other things we can put our minds to, like unification. And, like, we can probably think about how to make a treaty or how to work with each other. So one group of, like, people can be in one area, one group of people can be in another area. I'm more liberal, like, I want everyone to be, like, able to choose what they do. However, I do have an understanding that, like, things need to happen occasionally, you know. We do need some sort of authority, like, over people. Personally, though, I think my morals are pretty, um, pretty good. Uh, I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I want the best for everyone. It's, it's just easier that way. Uh, we all have to exist. No, no point in just killing everyone. Just make everyone suffer the least and work as well as you can with people, you know? I'm still pretty young at the moment, so, like, there's always an opportunity for me to be called up for war uh, as part of, like, the Australian Army. Honestly, I, I really don't want to get involved in it. I don't know how my dual citizenship works because I'm auto also British. Um... So, if one calls me up, I I just really don't want to be involved. My life, I've decided, is just not going to have any of this. Like, I want to, like, be peaceful, move along, and, you know, help people. It's kind of also a bit backward to still think about, like, war and stuff. Uh, when I, like, think of people around the world, I see everyone as just a citizen of Earth, like... We're all just kind of fusing into one group. I chat with people from pretty much everywhere across the globe, and it doesn't make sense to me that, you know, we're going to want to go fight these people. Like, yo, I was just chatting with, like, an American the other day. I was chatting to, like, a Chinese person the other day. Busy chatting with someone in Germany. It just, we just, like, it doesn't make sense. It's so scattered. Like, these days... I just see people and they're people like they they just want to like live and honestly I see I see why and I understand why 
Um, in on that note, I'm not a big fan of extremists. So people who want to go around harming people, and and like really forcing their ideals. I think we all should hold our own ideals to ourselves and like share them with people if they want to hear them and expand on our understanding. But don't force it down someone's throat. That's not necessary. Like it's it's hard enough as it is to live and. If you're busy saying, uh, you're going to have to, like, listen to me now, join my cult, uh, this is where you belong, also, uh, no smoking or tattoos, thanks, that's, that's illegal here, in my, uh, my morals and my understanding of the world. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for this, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little rant for some reason. Um, I've also decided I'm going to stop doing that weird dislike thing I've been doing in every video. Uh, I'd like people to come and see my content. It's, it's kind of like a bit of fun. I, I'd like to chat with people in the community and probably build my own community. I know it's unlikely, but hey, it'll be a little bit of fun. So, uh, I hope you have beautiful lives and have a good night or day or afternoon or whatever. And don't beat people up. Catch you later.